Marlos, with so much early goodwill, why then is UC in so much trouble? Its effects on so many claimants, catastrophic. People newly claiming UC from today on will not get their first payment until after Christmas. How will they cope? For the story of UC is a now a story of broken promises. During the second reading debates of 2011, uh, Mr. Duncan Smith and Lord Freud, in good faith, made three core promises to us all. Mr. Fro Mr. Duncan Smith, 9th March 11, work will always and must always be made to pay. So the second promise from Lord Freud, 13th of September 11, claimed UC would lift 600,000 adults, 350,000 children out of poverty. Third, you see, said Duncan, Mr. Duncan Smith, would be, I quote, a regime that is easy to understand, Lord Freud, a single UC benefit, I quote, will be simple to claim and access. Three promises. Work would always pay. Families would be lifted out of poverty. And a single benefit would ensure a simple structure. You see, would, we hoped, be transformational. And three core promises, and every one, every one broken. Why? HMT's cuts, and to some extent, DWP delivery. DWP fought Treasury cuts and lost. Now that you see, is far meaner in its payments, nastier in its sanctions, harsher in its delivery than tax credits. HMT is suddenly anxious to roll it out ever faster, 10 times faster, laying waste to WD promises and our fellow citizens' lives. My laws, my examples come mainly from the deeply distressing 650 pages or so of last month's written evidence to the Work and Pension Select Committee. One claimant wrote, you see, can transform lives, he goes on, that is certainly true by catapulting the only just managing into poverty and debt. You see our 0019. Broken promises. Let me count ways. Promise one, work would always pay. No. IFS says some three million working families will on average be two and a half thousand a year worse off the work allowance, which is taper free before UC withdrawal kicks in, cut by up to 2K alone parents for single people, scrapped. A lone parent, my lords, with one child, now has to work 25 hours a week on UC to get the same income as working 16 hours per week under tax credits. 60% more hours for the same income, would we? Second earners, mostly partnered women, are even worse hit. No work allowance, 63 in the pound taper from the first pound tax, and then a high childcare and council tax loss of support can take some 93% of her earnings. Why work when with travel costs you can be worse off? My lords, would we? The self-employed are especially exposed, as are disabled families. Mm -hmm. One client of the charity turned to us, I quote, I would be better, up, better off giving up work because with the new UC, I would be £200 worse off. So contemplating unemployment in 2018. Work always pays, that first promise, not for him, nor in future, when UC reaches 7 million people for many thousands of others. So DWP uses the whip of unbelievably harsh sanctions to get people into work that for too many doesn't pay. First core promise, therefore, broken. Second core promise, that UC would lift 350,000 children out of poverty. Instead, says CPAG, drawing on DWP and IFS stats a fortnight ago, HMT's repeated cuts to UC will send one million more children into poverty 
By 2021, their lives blighted. My Lord, how in all decency can we defend this, even to ourselves? Promise number two, therefore, broken. I come to the third promise of smooth delivery, the broken promise. Where to begin? Missed payments, delayed payments, wrong payments, cases lost or closed, making late appeals impossible, staff unable to handle contributory benefits, claimants lacking acceptable ID, reputable advisors such as CAB unable to act for clients in hospital because they lack explicit consent, staff asking for the wrong information, losing documents, keeping incomplete records, giving conflicting advice. Claimants have informed DWP they could not attend an appointment their employer refused them time off. Sanctioned. They were in hospital. Sanctioned. An appointment posted by the DWP to the wrong address. Sanctioned. For three months. Take IT, my lords. Parts of rural Norfolk lack internet access, access. In any case, struggling claimants, especially older or disabled people, cannot afford dial-up or smartphones, nor can they always get to job centres, 87 of which, 87, unbelievably, are closing. And that's just the time we should be boosting our job centre support. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What can they do? What can they do? A claimant had an appointment for 10 a.m. He notified DWP that his first local bus arrived at noon. Sanctioned. One man, and uh, the reference is UCR uh, 0065, one man with traumatic brain injury affecting his memory was late for his appointment. Sanctioned. Losing several hundred pounds, he self-harmed unable to afford the bus fare to hospital, he closed his wound himself with superglue. Tribunal judges are scathing. The greatest problem, however, is a six week or more waiting period and then monthly payments in arrears, supposed, if I may say so, to moralize some of the most marginal in society into behaving like middle class salaried professionals resilient with savings. Government must know the stats. 58% of those on UC are paid weekly or fortnightly. Not monthly, 58%. <coughs> Plymouth Community Homes with 14,000 tenants, 75% of their claimants are paid weekly, fortnightly, or have limited hours. So payment delays sink those claimants deeper into the quagmire of debt. In Gateshead, 221 of 231 tenants on UC have arrears over £800. Holton, 920 of its 1,000 tenants. Croydon, Southwark, Tower Hamlets, average debt for all UC claimants, around 1K, £1,000. Many, I fear, will never get out of the debt we have constructed for them. Family members themselves struggling, trying to support other family members. As one sister said, it's the poor that are supporting the poorest. Over a quarter, are waiting more than six weeks for their initial payment, one in 10 for more than 10 weeks without earnings, benefits, or savings, pawning their belongings, missing meals, charity workers finding a fiver out of their own pockets to put back on the meter for some lighting and heating, and all of them facing Christmas. Advanced payments, yes. Half of new UC claimants now claim them. Evidence, surely, that the six-week model was flawed from its very beginning. But unlike the low cap in tax credits recovery, DWP for the next six months takes up to 40%, often far more with other debts, from your UC standard allowance for advanced payments, council tax utilities arrear. Each month, your personal debt, private debt, rises to cover the shortfall from your public debt as handled by DWP. The second largest delivery issue is that UC is not paid directly to landlords on request. 79% of 
of UC claimants are in rent arrears. Some have already been evicted by social landlords. In Northern Ireland and in Scotland, at the tenant's request, UC payments can be made fortnightly rather than monthly in arrears, and the housing element paid direct to the landlord. If Scotland, if Northern Ireland, why not England? Yeah. Yeah. DWP is extending its trusted partner and landlord portal scheme, but not to the private sector. Private landlords need their rents to finance their mortgages. Some tenants are waiting 10 or 12 weeks, yet eight weeks of arrears is mandatory grounds for repossession. So what changes might, in my view, help to rescue UC? What, what might begin to redeem those broken promises that work should always pay, that people would be lifted out of poverty, that delivery would be simple? Of course, I would like a reinstatement of the cuts from benefit freeze to second child policy. Uh, that's a big, those are big ticket items. But in particular, a four-week rather than six-week initial payment. We hope to see that in the budget. At tenants' request, fortnightly payments of UC and direct payments of the housing elements to landlords, as in Scotland and Northern Ireland. Cap, slow down, GWP debt recovery to avoid even deeper debt. Raise the work allowance. Pilot some second earners to see whether their own work allowance would bring them into work. Mm -hmm. Two thirds of children in poverty have a working parent. If work really paid, a second earner could lift her children out of poverty. And that was a matter, I'm sure, to us all. And a proposal from someone who knows how UC works. Most UC problems hit and hurt claimants within the first three or four months. A fortnight's UC grant at the beginning of a UC claim, no clawback, just a fortnight's grant until first full payment as now would keep so many families afloat. A grant that does not need to be repaid. How much? By 2021, it's calculated, total social security cuts of welfare reforms will be, quote, quote, saving HMT, £37 billion a year. 86% of that falling on women, of course. A two-week grant costing between four to six hundred million, combined with just four weeks until first payment, could indeed transform lives for the better. Yeah. A grant financed, perhaps, by the last year's, previous year's, £680 million underspend on tax credits pointed out by the OBR. <coughs> People, my lords, are so scared out there. The work and pension evidence that I have here is completely draining in its wretchedness. Two people facing Christmas, Donna, UCR 060, a lone parent with three children, working zero hour contracts on UC for 18 months. When her hours were cut as a ZHC worker, as little work was available, she tried to get an advance payment, but was told correctly according to the rules, it was too late. Her fault, they said, she should have budgeted better. And I quote from her, I quote, I wanted to say, you don't know my situation. I work, I work 40 hours a week if I can get it. You don't know how hard this has been. I'm a person. Steve, a 55-year-old maintenance engineer, made redundant April 2016. After four visits and three months, he got his first payment. The stress and fear led to angina, and he was hospitalized. So he missed an interview and was sanctioned for two months. The resulting rent arrears of a thousand pounds meant he lost his home. My lords, he did everything right. We, my lords, did everything wrong. We broke our promises and we broke him with it. What Christmas, Madonna, Steve. My lords, we can we must do better than this. Sir John Major said last month, UC was, quote, operational, very messy, socially unfair, and unforgiving. 
Was he wrong? My lords, I beg to move. Yeah. <laughs>